No, you, see, you don't play the days, so you don't actually get the, uh... Maybe get a better start not too babe. You don't play the days, so you don't get a, um... It, it doesn't come back to you. This one only activates when you have cards you play. Early, huh? Lucky. I gotta make sure I can kill this elite, and I don't know if I really can right now. I don't know if I can kill this elite. This is a uh, little monk S. Yes. Get rid of Ghostly here. Is that worth it? Better just do 24 to all of them. It's 8 damage to all of them. That's a lot. That's hard to come by. 8 damage to every single one of them. That's hard to replicate. That's damn hard to replicate. That guy would have been dead right now. Right? That guy would have been dead if I did Whirlwind for full. And so would that guy. In the middle. Damn it. Alrighty. Garia. Power through metallicized sentinel. Lift lift. Yes. Yes, we're lifting, baby. I gotta use the bathroom. Tori, okay, okay. Corruption spoon, baby. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Beer back. All right. Shockwave and uh, and remove the regret. I think that would have been nice with spoon. What do we got? Whirlwind early? Nah. We got this though. Big fat slam bow jam by Arnold going. Thank you for the 100 bit source of madness. Thank you, buddy. Unceasing Tower would be cool. When, 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 when it'd be cool. It's always cool. Twin strike, a true grit. Um, shrug it off. I like shrug. Shrug is really nice to have. Shrug is quite nice, especially if you're going against slam boss. It's a good upgrade target as well. Could have done it a little bit differently.
Whoa. Juggernaut, Flame Bear, Disarm. So a Juggernaut deck with Corruption. Flame Bear is really nice. Disarm. Disarm is great. We need Disarms in our life. Like, Disarm is one of the... We, just, we need to have one of those. It's not that good against Flame Boss, but we need it for Act 2. We do have Tori, so maybe Disarm is a little less uh, necessary. But Disarm and Tori go well, really well together. Flame Bear and Juggernaut. We do Juggernaut to get more damage. And... But the thing is about, if I'm doing corruption, my la my defense don't last. Like, so Dragonite kind of falls off. But Disarmament Spoon is great. Yep, yep, yep. Damn. Flame Bear is a nice block to have, though. Especially if corruption is making it free. And we potentially get it back for free as well. It's tough to say. So, the ceiling of the deck. Like, Dragonite can help me... Just get a lot of damage and play all my defense and just get really big bursts, which might be important to, for this guy right here. And moving forward, I really want Disarms. Disarms is a great investment in general. I think I like Attack Potion better here. And I think instead of Upgraded Trigger, we go for another Elite. Because it's we did Triple Sentry, so it's going to be Gremlin or Laga. And I think we can do well against both. And we need Relics. I'm gonna attack push here, even though I wanted to like I wanted um Jeez. Jeez. Should have played corruption there. I should have played corruption there, jeez. Oof. Well, now, now I feel like I have to rest. If I play Corruption, I can play all these skills for free and still do the strike, which I made a mistake. Corruption last time was definitely better. Because it doesn't give me strength and it just allows me to play these things for free. So I made a mistake. But either way, we have 36 next turn. Damn, I fucked up. Boom, boom. Paper frog, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dark embrace. Drop kick. Dark embrace. Whoa, imagine if we had dragon. Dark embrace is a crazy part of the combo. Really? Okay. Uh, I think we upgrade Bash. We have more vulnerable. We have Shockwave for the vulnerable uptime. So I think what we do is upgrade True Grit. And with the vulnerable uptime with Bash and Shockwave, we should be fine to get Paper Frog split and not have to worry about resting. So we can also just do a Lift instead. Because Lift might be better. No, but True Grit is a good upgrade. And, but Lift is very good. Yeah, a lot of this is deep, I know. A lot of this stuff is very steep. We're just cramming in all the stuff that's super expensive. Nah, I don't think we need HP. It's the favorite frog, especially, but... Trigger wants to be upgraded. Hmm. We could get unlucky. We can go for more vulnerable uptime. Oh, we're gonna be splitting him next turn anyways, right? I'm about trying to get some of the bad stuff out. So now I'm weakened.
We stick it stick a die here. Okay. Give me energy relic. Oh man, we got exhumed, we also got a Reaper. Reaper is crazy. We don't really have strength gain. We have lift though. So with Garia we can make Reaper not bad. And then there's also Exhum, which with, with the spoon is could be kinda crazy. The strange spoon of Exhum. Do like disarm multiple times, we can do shockwave. I mean there's a lot of things we can do. Corruption corruption with the exhum is really powerful. We also get Reaper with the spoon. I mean Reaper's just oh man. Exhum is these options are tough. Exhum right now is currently could hit pretty much everything, so it can give me Sentinel for more energy on a turn. Disarm again. You know, shockwave again. Which has a lot of versatility. Reaper is AoE and some sustain. Which with Pipper Frog can be some pretty good sustain as well. Mm-hmm. Spawning the Exhum. Let's go. Ah, that also much, man. So much stuff. Runic Pyramid. Runic Pyramid is the best relic in the game. And we can hold on to this stuff so we can have Dark Embracer at the ready. The Reaper in the hands. Sentinel one whenever we need it. Hold on to Whirlwinds. I mean, Runic Pyramid is just insane. Dark Embrace is a little awkward pyramid because you keep drawing. So like Dark Embrace means it's going to be sometimes hard to empty out your hands. Tiny House versus... So Tiny House is not bad either. So I do want some upgrades. But Pyramid means I can hold on to all this combo stuff. It's, this, this is a combo deck as well. I don't mind Tiny House either though. I just think that the, the Dark Embrace makes Pyramid awkward. Because Dark Embrace gives us card draw and this Pyramid... Can only sustain so much card draw. And since our, we have a lot of expensive cards, I feel like we're going to have trouble actually keeping our hand empty. So Pyramid feels a little awkward. Now we can go for two elites, or we can go for Sparkle and one, like as one elite beat the Sparkle, or we can go for Safe Path. I'm trying to think. Let's go this way. Corruption really early, we also might run out of skills, so it's Oh, it's also interesting though, because if, if the spoon sometimes Dark Embrace doesn't proc, so I guess that counteracts potential downside of Dark Embrace. Potential downside meaning the fact that it might make me have too much cards in my hands. So we want to take one damage here because of Tori, so we should keep that in mind. But that's gonna get the exhausted anyways. So we got Sentinel back, which is nice. Go for the heal. Nice. This deck slaps. This deck slaps. I kinda like bloodletting because. It gives us energy, and we can heal up the, the damage it gives to us with Reaper pretty easily, because of Paper Frog. But it also is a nice way to like free up my hand a little bit. Like, if we have Bloodletting, it allows us to play some of our stuff a little bit. I don't know. I don't mind the Bloodletting. The Senior Red would be better, obviously. Or even Sentinel. I don't love it. Don't hate it. Can you bash is super important first? I know I like the weaken, but well, with the weaken we could potentially make this only one damage. It's one damage. It's fine. Again, we can get a, a decent reaper back on this, so it's not the end of the world. Oof. Just want to draw. It's very important that we get our draw. Alright, so we got energy back with Sentinel. 
Oh, I just realized if that happens and we don't actually get the... Oof. Oh, that's actually so bad. Nope, now I don't get the Reaper with the Vulnerable. Oh, we do. I lied. That's even better, actually. It's even better. Close. Close, close. Damn. My money. I think a lot of gold. True grit. Ooh. This guy could be bad. One of us can be king for us. This can be really bad because we have pyramid, so I can't play some of the cards. Obviously, corruption helps us counteract that. I wonder if I can hit pain here. I need to upgrade this. Oh, they upgraded it. Hell yeah. Let's go. Havoc's great. That looks great. Um, drop kick number two. We can potentially go infinite with drop kick. Two drop kicks in the deck. We have corruption to get rid of the skills. It's potential to go infinite. And I'm gonna take that potential. There's potential to go infinite here. Apparitions. Apparitions are not bad because it just buys me time to get my stuff out. And then once we can also get apparitions back because of spoon. Right? The apparitions can come back from spoon. And they can also get upgraded because of the, the tongue. We get the apparitions back. We also can just play all of them. Once the combo is out, maybe we can just go infinite with drop kicks. So we go for apparition, drop kick, infinite. That gets countered immediately by a handful of things. Because mm. of that particular fight, that fight, he. he Makes you uh, confused. I mean, I don't know about this. I think it could be a good, co good combo, though. We want to upgrade the true grip because now that pain is a problem. I want to remove the pain at the shop, so I, uh, taking one less campfire. It's fine. Uh -oh. Limit break armaments. Oof, these are also damn. If I didn't, if I didn't take the shop and I went to the campfire instead, then the next shop would have had these prismatic shard looking so nice with corruption and spoon in the deck the break would have been kind of nice as well even though we have no strength what am i talking about armaments is a little redundant Just remove pain then it's supposed to be kind of a waste of money because i could be doing inflame since we have true grit and we're making so much healing anyways because of reaper by taking in flame we make the reapers even better so that the pain is even less of a problem let me take the inflame and think about the fact that it healing reap it healing with reaper is going to be offset the pain and we just need more we need more uh stuff in our deck we need more strength right i think in flame is a call We already have Shockwave. Uh -oh. I'm glad for more vulnerable. I could also Thunderclap mix it so that I could do the dropkick stuff a little bit easier. But uh, I like the Inflame. But if our goal is to do the dropkick stuff, we could do this. 
Taking that shot is a little bit, eh. This, this is interesting because it, it potentially doesn't exhaust and comes back and we can have this, but... It also, we have hot, Runic Pyramid so we can hold on to it and make it scale up relatively consistently. So this could be interesting to take the spoon in the pyramid. Do you want something like that? Oh, that hands great. We want to find an elite here. I should be upgrading disarm though. Here's the sparkle. There's this arm. I want to see what I draw into. Where the disarms go? Got it back. I can get energy back and, and get rid of Sentinel now. So I can free up space in my hands. If I do this, I can trigger the Sentinel and get free up space in my hands so I can get better card draw. It's okay. I can heal right now. Wait for Shockwave, I think. Like, wait for Corruption Shockwave here. In my opinion. Use Shockwave Reaper now with Energy Pot. Ritual Dagger. Hell yeah. So we can do this, and then we can do a... Uh... Obviously you want to get rid of the strength, right? I mean, uh, they're, um... They're block. We want to scale this up, so... I think I have to take the less... I gotta do this. I get less sustain, but... I want to scale this bad boy up. I got Reaper back, so we can do Reaper again. There's a big chance we're going to draw into Reaper, so I'm going to wait here. I just want to reapply Bash. I won't get a full heal, but I'll get some heal. Get four strength in a fight. We start off with four strength in a fight. And I'm gonna be plus pretty nice because it's uh, seven block, that's not a skill. Seven block, that's not a skill. I obviously, I wanna keep the deck a little bit small, but I, I like the Iron Wave plus. Let's go. Dark Embrace counteracts this hex pretty well. All right. Mm-hmm. A short dagger is uh killing the man. Easy clap, easy scaling. And we got it back. So we can do ritual dagger again and scale it again. Okay. I like it. I'm gonna wait for vulnerable here. I gotta free up space in my hands. Somehow, some way. There's the vulnerable. Hmm. Gotta free up space somehow. Got Reaper back as well. We'll try a ritual dagger here. Reaper heal. Oh, you were ready for heal.
Let's just wait for Ritual Dagger. It's there. Gotta wait. Is there? Hope it gets upgraded for all this. Jesus. Hope it gets big. I like the, uh, we're, uh, it's another source of vulnerable, but it's also, I mean, it's a little weird because we already have clothesline and bash, so I don't know. What's up, James? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, we're we'll skip Uppercut here. Not gonna get that too fat. Bam. What are you gonna be? Disarm? Wish the Charm Plus was a thing. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna do Dexterity Pie here. Because I don't want wounds are really bad with Pyramid. It's here bad. And we got it back. Got the spoon back. Sorry, not the spoon, but the uh. Didn't get this arm back though. We unfortunately lost. Disarm. I think I'll do Dark Embrace. I want to reply Bash. No, this is fine. We only have one one in the deck and we can trigger the one we have. The dagger came back so we can wait yet again, or we can say this in this fight is not really the time. I'm not sure what to do here. We can afford to wait one turn. There it is. Damn. Impervious. We can get Metagenic Strength. Wow, so we already have 4 Strength to start off the fight. With Metagenic Strength, we're starting off the fight with 7 Strength. Interesting. We can also transform 2 cards and see what we get. We start with 7 Strength in the start of a fight. It's not bad. Transform. We can also get Strength Scaling with Jax. I think we're gonna go for Infinite, right? For this fight. So we gotta play this fight a little bit differently. We're gonna have to do some True Grit shenanigans. Seven strength, sugar shenanigans. We're gonna go if it against the champion. Yeah, we have two drop kicks. Should be able to. It's all good, James Dino. All right. So ever since we're gonna go infinite, what's the best way to? I mean, we've got to make sure the spoon doesn't work against us. As far as upgrades are concerned, more energy here. Charm being better is always very nice. Make this scaling a little bit better. You can also just recall. Hey, we got the spoon. Let's go. Yeah, let's try getting rid of things. Should I get rid of it? Getting rid of the strength. So like getting rid of the uh, strike is probably better, but I disarm again. Huge. I 
I have both drop picks in my hand and I have the bash, so we, we can probably go infinite very soon, no? If we play corruption now and just keep these in our hands. Can we very closely get to corruption? I mean infinite? What could go wrong? Let me just do corruption now. I could play battle trends. We have to get through all these cards right here. We'll manage. How about we don't we don't hold on to this for now, we just wait. Gotta get rid of a lot of stuff here. Shockwave keeps coming back. Yikers. Sean came back. Jesus Christ. We can end it with Virtual Dogger. You know, we can scale it here. That's not bad. Come on, Shockwave. I need you to uh, cooperate. <laughs> cooperate with me. Spoon is making it hard for me. I know I could have done the. I just wanted. I mean, I know I can probably just try the execute. And you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I just need these defense to get away from me. Jesus. You go infinite now, right? If we thank you, thank you, yo, called it happens easy. If we got lucky, we did it. All right, so let's go get the ritual dagger. We could have gone infinite right there if they exhausted and they did. It's gonna be forty-five. Okay. Scaling. So, Reaper offering. Reaper number two. <clears throat> we have four strength, Reaper number two, Paper Frog. I don't mind it. I like Reaper. Offering's not bad either, but I think often, at times, I have offerings really help me there. Astrolab, Busted Crown. I don't think we need that many cards. I don't mind energy with Busted Crown. I feel like energy would help us out a lot. Astrolab. Get rid of three strikes. Not bad either. So I like the quality of cards we have. And I still want to get some card options. Now if we do... If we get Rage, we can get infinite against... Oh no. So if we get the boot, we can try the infinite thing against the heart. See if that's true. Reaper 3, 4, 5, yeah, exactly. So it's between Busted Crowd or uh, Ashlab. We could take Bark of Pain and True Get the Wounds, but I don't know. I don't, really don't like wounds in Pyramid Deck or just wounds in general. The energy does help, yeah. 
if we take Buster Crown, basically we're not going to have to see many cards. Can this deck right now reasonably beat the heart? I'm not sure. I think it needs a couple more things. Definitely needs a couple more things. I don't think I need cards. I don't think I need cards. Ooh, Shaw Weakness. Very nice. Body Slam and Havoc. I like it. Big Pug. Man, I get like these gas pains sometimes. Mm -mm. What do we got? What do we got? How many elites are we doing? Who's hot? Who's not? Boom, 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 boom. I took damage. Hey, hey. Yeah, impervious to body slam. Oof, we wanted to do ritual dagger though, right? That's too much damage. My damage is too big. Oh shit. Ritual dagger. Okay, we can always heal. Shit. It's the last card right now. I can get it right now if I if I get lucky. No. I can heal in other fights. I'm gonna scale it up. You can heal in other fights. It's no big deal. I like the shrug. Nice. Oh my. 300 gold. Not bad. I approve. This would be a great Reaper fight right here. Actual dagger already have it. So we got the Whirlwind, which just wins the fight. I would like to do Reaper. We have two Reapers, right? So I can do this kind of stuff. Let me see. We can wait here. We can wait here. So we can do... Um... We can do this. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. I'm waiting for the shock. I need shockwave to come. Boom, boom, boom. There's a shockwave. Ritual dagger to end it off. Okay. So we need to get energy right now. Bloodletting preferably. Okay, we did it. Sentinel. That works. Okay. Let's get the healing. Let's get bloodletting scaled up. Smacking it up. Second whirlwind. I don't know. Don't think I need it. Speed pot. Could be interesting. Oh, wait, we got the boot. So we said we could test out whether or not the boot is actually infinite. No, do we want to test it? Yeah. 
we can test out if this is infinite against the heart with drop kicks. So you checked in what, what was the consensus? He's an old bug, so he can't do it anymore. That sucks. We have limit break. We have saw weakness in the deck, so we can do limit break scaling with reapers. And at least you think so. Yeah, limit break in this is great. I know, happy flower in this, uh, but I'm just thinking about the boo here. Let's test it out. I mean, I, I, I suppose we can afford it and see if it's possible. We still need to get a rage if we're gonna do that against the heart. We need a rage. You doubt it still works? I'm sure. Let's see when the video was made. Well, somebody just told me this. I don't know if they actually. Fine. I mean, I don't need to explode it. I just want to see. It would be cool if I can get that to work. Don't ask me why I did Sentinel there. Who's now? Who's hot? Dude, I mean, the fact that we have a Gyria, Vajra, and Limit Break, I mean, my lord. Lord have mercy. Ritual Dagger. Oh boy. Very nice. Did Ritual Dagger come back? Nah. The amount of slappage this deck has is incredible. So we're to dump our strength. I, don't know, I feel like this might just be awkward, no? It's a nice way to dump our strength, don't get me wrong. <laughs> That's a good idea, I want to save that. I'll do that, I can make that in Photoshop. It's a good idea. The interbreak's gonna be huge here. Oh boy. Let's do corruption now, because at this point, I just want to pop off. And we got them back anyways with Spoon. Spoon is great, guys. Spoon. How annoying would it be if I, in the video, I just put like a ding every time Spoon goes off? That'd be very annoying. Good. Reaper came back. Body slam's gonna be huge. Oh shit. Just have so much going on at all times. Special Dracula actually has gotten huge. We got calipers to Oh! Got oh, my bad. You guys just saw my, my midriff. <laughs> Shit, I had to get free this arm because my shoulder was hurting. Okay, Fiendal Fame Plus is crazy. And we also have calipers. Another trigger would be really good if you want to go to the infinite thing. Dual wield's kind of insane. We're doing calipers. And I like the ancient pot with the speed pot. That's pretty nice. Um, we could do another elite. We still have to recall. We still have to recall. So I do want to do campfire for recalling purposes. So we can do this and then and then recall. But um, we can recall somewhere else. Teaching right now. Feel, feel. <laughs> shake my head. Please let me get card draw here. Damn. Oh, we can get card draw now. Yes. Yeah, that branch would be bad here. We don't want to bloat anything. 
Dead branch is bad because the spoon is going to keep a lot of the dead branch stuff in a way that I'm not going to want. I, told, I can get multiple virtual daggers here, I just realized. Oh, never mind, I lied. Metallicize? I think metallicize is unnecessary. What's up, Repto? You don't like it, do I can brace early? Ghostly? Should have kept Sentinel, that was my bad. I should have kept Sentinel. Whoopsies. Sentinel was actually very important once you play Corruption. Might have fricked up. So it's also really nice if I would have kept the... What's it called? Would have kept... It's okay, so Reaper can heal us for a lot here. If I take this damage, but it's not the end of the world. It seems really bad, but it's all good. Let's get the disarm back. Alright, so we can do Shockwave Reaper. We need the limit break. Okay, we can do Bloodletting Shockwave Reaper. And that is lots of damage. Lots of damage. I'm saying we kept the energy pilot, so we're good for this. Bloodletting Shockwave Reaper. Obviously, I want to do like. Trigger to defend this. Uh, that's an insane amount of heal. And I think with the Paper Frog, we're doing Ethel and the guy in the front. Limit Break Reaper better. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, like, the Vulnerable Paper Frog is so important. Another Reaper in the deck. I want to get the uh, virtual dagger on her or Reaper. Like Reaper right now would be so nice just to get all this healing. Oh, it's such a full heal, but I think I'd rather get. Oh, wait, I can do both. I can get the scaling here and get a full heal. Oof. Skip here. I like the wheat. Nah, we'll skip. Get the sapphire. Eh, it sucks to have the sapphire that we don't really need the strength, if anything. Leave. Ritual dagger is actually the biggest I've ever had it. Let's go for the body slam. Why not? Let's kill this guy in particular. Beautiful. We got calipers. If you don't pay mixed spoon like a hit or miss thing. Oh well we got Dagger here. See what it hits. If it comes back or not. Oof. Alright, we take advantage of the scaling. We can wait. We can wait here. Hmm. I won't have that much card draw. It's gonna be hard. Maybe I gotta get lucky. We got it. Oof. Armaments or heavy blade? Heavy blade is a good way to dump our strength. Like, we have Super Ring, but heavy blade is like, ba bam.
I don't know. We don't have we don't have that much energy for heavy blade. That's the problem. I think we need it. Block clot. Let's recall. Hello, limit break. Hmm. It's good damage. Let's go for the big dagger. Draw a dagger and win. It's okay to play excess block because we have calipers. Dagger and win. Bam. I should probably have upgraded the amount of times I've done dagger. I should have. Oh, we got we got the combo. It came to fruit. Okay, we'll add it. Let's do it. Why not? I know it's adding another card to the deck makes it a little bit fatter, but. Could be a little awkward. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem with this is that it has to be a last one. Yeah, if we lose it, it could be that, yeah. So it Again, adding like Juggernaut and all this stuff is not really necessary. We'd rather be more streamlined with what, exactly what we have. So, yeah, you're not wrong. You gotta be careful. Get a full heal with Reaper coming up. Take this damage, no problem. Second one is interesting because it's a way to manage statuses and stuff. It's a way to manage statuses and actually I think it guarantees the card gets exhausted, right? So one problem that we have is that sometimes Spoon, the card doesn't get exhausted for sure. The second one can guarantee that, but I don't know. I feel like it's, it's also with Burning Pyramid, we could hold on to it. So for in those turns when we get exhausted, uh, like the burns, the two burns from Act 4 Elite, and when we get the wounds and the other stuff from the heart, we just got to draw into second wind, and then once we get that, we can, you know, get rid of it. It's not that bad. I don't know if it's necessary. The thing is, we only have one true grit, and with pyramid the wounds and stuff like that could be kind of bad. And we also have a couple burns coming up in the next, the, um, Act 4 Elite. I don't know if we need to shrug it off or not. Is this, is this like making enough block for the heart? Without shrug it off? You recently had to retract it to this size, picked up a dual world and act for it, easy game. Nice. Second one's interesting. It's also be a, a crazy amount of draw. So like let's say I'm going against Donor Deck as for instance. Second win with Dark Embrace out means I get all that card draw. It's also a card draw. It's not just block with Funeral Pain or block from the card itself. It's also a card draw on that turn. So it guarantees the uh, Dark Embrace. So that could be powerful. Especially if I want to go for like a quick infinite and I want to make sure I get there. I can just do that real quickly. I think it has a place. But there's also, get them by the turns where it's just doing nothing. Without Dark Embrace out, without Funeral Pain, without all that stuff, it's just kind of there. It slows me down, huh? Is it worth putting in? Is it worth getting slowed down by the, the upside of what it can bring? Sometimes I want to also guarantee that I get Bloodletting out, etc, etc. 
I don't mind it. Let me see. Can I really afford to have an awkward card? I think our deck is fine because our deck... Hey, let's say it has a bad turn or whatever, we can come back with a massive Reaper heal and, and, you know, even if I have a bad turn, I can recover pretty well. It's not about being not, it's about making sure that stuff gets exhausted instead of Spoon. We can upgrade this power, we can also upgrade this. It's way too late to upgrade that, what am I saying, but... Upgrade this for energy, we can upgrade this so it's easier to play. Upgrade this for damage. Damage is not really that important. This is not bad with block because we have calipers. Um make this more playable because we only have three energies. So maybe corruption being cheaper is not bad. Or this give them more energy. Alternative is more block. Everybody doesn't need to be upgraded, it's fine. We're at 16 block with it mo at, in, at the least. We have 16 block. From there, it can even go even higher. Not necessary. No, it's not necessary. I'll upgrade this. Why not? I think corruption and dark should be upgraded as well. Boom. There you go. Got it back, anyways. powers so I'm gonna do the powers now I'm just gonna go for it we have a lot of strength so let's go for it this is something we can potentially go infinite with ah I lost bash it's scary but we got bash back it's not that bad we got impervious back okay spoon is hitting non-stop Need the vulnerable. Extra dagger, bam. Scaled it up, and, it, I, and I got it back. Makes my reaper, my reaper a little bit worse. Makes reaper a little bit worse. I'm, I'm happy we got bash back though. So now we just bash. What I'm gonna do is bash reaper to get a lot of healing here. So we can do limit break, reaper, reaper full heal. We already have full heal, so let's get the scale. Bam. Spell weakness. We do whirlwind next turn. Let's do whirlwind next turn. Um. Shh. Well, first turn was a little bit more strength, but okay. I think I like corruption here, anyways. The fact that I didn't hit Sentinel was kind of bad. A little bit problematic. A little bit problematic. Getting rid of my skills was also a mistake. I, I can go infinite here, so let me, let me change up what I did here, and we gotta go for infinite. We gotta go for infinite here. Reaper heals are not bad though. Let's go for the infinite. We gotta make sure we still have bash. Okay. Yes, let's do a quick, quick and dirty infinite. Do I care about havocing any of these? I got the center vein back. 
I got Havoc back? What happened there? I got Havoc back. That sucks. I could kill it and just go for it. Like, I don't necessarily have to. I could just go for the kill. Because, you know, we have Ritual Dagger coming up. Let's go for the kill. This is fine. Daggers for the lethal. We need to hit something that's like free. There we go. To give it a third form. True. Stone counter has been kind of awkward, huh? Alright, uh, so I'm gonna upper one of these powers to make it cheaper. I think. The corruption, right? Or Dark Embrace? One of the two. The corruption. Although that's probably not the best upgrade. So Pendant is probably really big. So Head was also very nice as well. I think Headbutt could be useful. I like the Headbutt. I think Pendant could be very nice with Reaper and everything else. Nunchaku, eh. Could remove one more strike out of the deck. Do we really want to remove strikes out of our deck though? They're very useful. The finesse also can help us go infinite if we wanted to go that route, but it's a little bit harder if I'm playing Corruption. We can go for the headbutt and the pendant and call it a day. We get a cauldron and see what we get. I already have the stairway speed pot combo. We'll probably find Ghost and Jar with this. What else can we remove? I don't want to remove a defense. I like the strikes because the strikes are, you know, good damage with all the strength that I have. But I guess we can do damage with other things like the drop kicks, the iron wave, body slam. I don't know. The strike does a lot with all the strength that we have. It's definitely useful. Oh. Finesse is not bad. If we end up doing Ancient Pot, Street Pot, that could be a nice little uh, cheap block. <laughs> War cries, eh? Uh -huh. Alright, let's go. Ow. We have Reaper though. It's all good. <laughs> Gotta get Reaper here. No. I'm forced to ritual dagger and reaper the this other guy. I'm forced to ritual and reaper this other guy. I suppose that's fine. It's not ideal. Got it back, so we can get Richard Dagger again. Alright, that's fine. It'd be useful if I get vulnerable. Let's see. Maybe we can get it. We can get vulnerable here. Nice. Nice. Big heals.
We can reach dagger back and end it. We can get one more heal though, right? Let's go for one more heal. Uh, now we can do ritual dagger to end it. As long as we can reasonably... I can't headbutt for it. I'm gonna kill him. I'm trying to draw into it, but I don't want to kill him. Shock is great. Uh, we could do steroid pot, speed pot, and get the speed. Uh, so we can block the vulnerable, or we can go for dexterity. What do you think is better? Dexterity with calipers is not bad. We can also block the vulnerable. Almost messed that up. Got rid of the wounds. The wounds. Do no pain. We don't care about what we have, it right? Corruption now. The deck performs very well with Corruption because Spoon is giving us 50% cards back. Hey, we got the, we got the weaken the we have weakened the vulnerable, I know. Oh. Tori is great, yep. We also have calipers. Uh, I think we do corruption now. Yeah, the deck performs well with corruption. It kind of does its thing with corruption. We have big reaper heals and we have block in other ways. It's not like we're not going to run out of block, I don't think. So both of those exhausted for real and they didn't. That sucks. That sucks. Limit break exhausted for real too. Okay, so we're getting we're getting a little unlucky with those hits. Unfortunately. Impervious limit break. Both got rid of Okay, that's fine though. I got rid of myself for real, okay. I guess I'm getting trolled. Got weakness for more scaling or drop kick just for more shenanigans. Um, well, we have a status coming up soon, right? So it kind of be nice to bring back True Grit. But I should focus on damage, I think. It's 15 damage at the worst. This is a lot of damage. Oh, we got that back too. I want to get rid of his artifacts here. We got that back. That's a lot of damage. Okay, that's damage for a turn. I don't really gotta do anything here because I have. I take I take like no damage anyway, so I save my block for another turn. I don't want to hit the void though either. Let's just do that much damage, and we have enough damage for. We have enough damage with the Ritual Dagger on the following turn. And then from there we have a big Reaper heal as well. Gotta get the Vulnerable though. I could use Reaper twice here. How about we do... Exhaust? Thank you. You Reaper twice. 
do it once. And... That's his damage for the turn, yeah? Got it back. Go for the win. Now Disarm can be proc next turn. I'm gonna end it with Ritual Dagger here. I have damage in 20,000 ways from Sunday. Uh, we can style on him with Ritual Dagger. We can do that. Should we? Let's sacrifice him. We, we got a perfect space in our hand though, so... He's doing too much damage, I think. Alright. We're fine. Oh, I didn't draw into it. No! I could... Just dial on him. Wait, I'm never gonna draw into it because my hand is full. GG? That was cool, that was cool, 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 cool deck. Jesus, Corruption Spoon, powerful. Explosive. What a combo deck. Wow. Favorite deck in a long time. Explosive stuff. GG.